Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm going to make a little video today about a little something that the Muslim community, um, generally speaking, has missed a trick. I think we missed a trick on how we could create unity within our community. Excuse me. And, you know, there's something that other communities do, like other religious communities in the world do, and also non religious communities in the world do, and that is actually making the effort to learn each other's languages. Like in the Muslim community, generally if there's a Muslim who decides to learn a language, you'll decide to learn Arabic. Like it makes sense and you should. That should be your default position to learn Arabic so that you can learn the Qur'an. But so since I've been learning Somali, like I've got a real passion for learning Somali and um, obviously I'm married. I've, I'm married to a Somali and I'm involved in that community. And when I see Somalis in a message and I go over to them and I speak to them a little bit in Somali, I introduce myself in Somali and stuff and, you know, ask them how they are in Somali and... The amount of the amount more love that we have, like us brothers have between us, because they know that I've made an effort to learn their culture and learn their language, is just, is something that could so easily be utilised among the Muslims. Like I've 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 never really heard of like Pakistanis making an effort to learn Bangla. I've never really heard of um, like Turkish Muslims making an effort to learn, um, you know, to learn Albanian or. You know, like we, we don't do that enough. Like sometimes we do, like some of us do, but even to bring unity between the cultures of different Muslims is something that is something that we really neglect in the Muslim community and is an area of our unity which we could which we could draw upon a lot more than what we do. And also the idea of studying different languages and cultures is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran as well. In Surah Al Rum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Women ayatihi khalqi samawati wal and wa ikhtilafu al sinatikum wa alwanikum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Women a women ayatihi and from his signs, khalqi samawati wal and is the creation, khalq as samawati wal and the the skies and the earth. Wa. Wa, this, this wa in Arabic usually is comparing or saying that the two things, each side of it, are the same. So there's khalq as samawati wal ard, the creation of the heavens and the earth. Wa, and then on the other side, ikhtilafu al sinatikum wa alwanikum, the diversity in your languages and in your skin colours. Literally your colours, but it, it refers to your complexions and your skin colours. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is comparing to you that it is, in the same way that it is a sign, one of the signs of Allah that Allah created the heavens and the earth, everything around us, the heavens, the skies, the entire universe and the earth, and the diversity in your languages and your skin colours. Allah puts it in that status. Allah says the diversity in your language and your skin colours com compares to the other side of the wa, which usually means that the two things uh, are of similar importance or of, or, or, or of a similar status. But yet, we spend all of our lives learning things about the heavens and the earth. And we have entire subjects at schools and books written on the heavens and the earth. But the Muslims in our modern day give such little attention to the اختلاف والسنتكم والوانكم the, the diversity in your languages and in your skin colours. And, and by skin colours, by extension, means your cultures as well. Like generally, you know, people, people who end up having different complexions often have different cultures and stuff as well. So actually to bring more unity among the Muslims, actually learn each other's languages and actually learn about each other's cultures as well is something that like that, that's something that should be a huge piece of advice that we should give our Muslim community in the UK. So I hope you act upon that, inshallah. If you are interested in learning Somali, um, I have some Somali resources on my on my YouTube page as well. So please subscribe, inshallah, if you're interested in that. And also, I'm an Arabic teacher as well. I have Arabic language resources as well. Um, if you're interested in learning like Urdu or Bangla, or you're interested in learning Turkish or other, um, other you know, languages and Muslim communities like Hausa, Swahili, or anything like that as well. Obviously, there's so many resources online. Like I'm, I'm not going to give you links and stuff like that now because I don't have time to go through all of them for a start. Um, so please take that on board, inshallah. Make an effort, inshallah, to learn the languages of your brothers and your sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.